It's the oldest of questions. What drives man to pit himself against the wild, to challenge Mother Nature herself to a no-holds-barred cage match of epic proportions? Thanks for the warm-up, ladies, but I'm hunting big game today. For Tiger Titheridge, it's to become legend and be crowned this year's Master of Macho. But this year's competition is fierce. Grizzly Lady Bear took the dreaded Lasersaurus down like a clown. Mako Manswim Jr. captured the hyper-cunning Great White Smart. And King Cobra snagged the Emperor of Yetis after a 72-hour toboggan chase. Wait, it looks like this hunt isn't over. Tiger has only one day left to out-hunt them all. And to do that, he needs to catch the one. The only... Chupacabra. Ha! You're mine! Revol! Oh, hi, Tiger. I think I'm allergic to everything in this jungle. And, um, headlocks. It's here. Don't drop your guard for a second, Weevil. Don't even blink. Not blinking. <laughs> what George say about hunting animals, huh? Tiger and Weevil get naughty fingers. <laughs> it's not just an animal. It's the Chupacabra. Choopy Cooby Doo? What Choopy Cooby Doo? <laughs> no, George. The Chupacabra. It's the trickiest and most dangerous of all Mother Nature's nasties. When the other predators tell scary stories at meat camp, it's always about the chupacabra. The steaks were gone. The chupacabra had replaced them with arugula. <laughs> Killer whales were originally land dwellers. Chupacabra, waiting until we were distracted by the narrator. George, rescue Weevil from Chupi Kubu. Not so fast, Jungle Pants. But George, save Weevil. This is your fault. You triggered that cutaway with your Chupi Kubu nonsense. Talk like a real person. You are going to help me avenge Weevil's loss. Tiger! But Weevil not lost yet. He's a goner. I'm really not. He was a loyal assistant. He carried rope like a champ, creased maps like a pro, and operated a microwave like a boss. Rest in peace, little guy. Can someone just please rescue me? You owe me, George. So you'll help me catch this chupacabra that struck poor Weevil down in his prime. I'm still alive! Got it, Leaf Eater. George coming, Weevil! I'll take your naked enthusiasm as a yes. You have to understand! Chupacabra is a truly worthy opponent. He's my nemesis, my arch enemy, my numero uno enemy type guy. But I'll show him Mano a Chupacabra. <laughs> For fruit! What if baby banana gets stepped on, or eaten by monkey, or mistaken for fat tiny boomerang? <sighs> it would learn to survive and become stronger! Abandoned by its own kind, the banana cub would be forced to face its worst fears and crush them. In time, it would become more than just a banana. A banana to fear, a banana to respect, a macho banana. An alpha banana, making the rest of its kind look like fancy organic plantains. Fierce and noble, yet lonely. Oh, that okay. George Orphan too. I was talking about the banana. 
That's what tough tastes like. We've got a chupacabra to catch. The lair of the chupacabra. Chupicubu. Time for a visit from Mr. Catchy and Mr. Sleepy. No, saving better than hunting. Whoa! Forget it, hippie. Man was meant to conquer nature, not make friends with it. He was meant to have an amazing jawline and use muscular words like Chesterfield and ripcord. Not swing through the jungle in a tacky loincloth. Yeah? How tiger hunt without bang sticks? Ha, don't eat them. Meet Goodnight Charlie and Mrs. Bash. They're registered weapons. I have to check them when I fly. If you survive this, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh boy, here George go. <laughs> As if. What in Hemingway's name? Oh, hi, Tiger. Hmm, you hungry? That chupacabra fellow left me all this delicious food. And boy, he makes a fantastic smoothie. It's good to have you back, Weevil. Hi, uh, thanks, Tiger. Uh, you know I'm bait, right? Of course, that's classic chupacabra, using my own lackey against me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the taste of your mustard chupacabra. I've got a place all ready for you on my trophy wall, right between a polar bear and a T-Rex. I see. Yay! Go, Tiger! Be defeated by gravity. George, I left you behind to get eaten. No, oh, George, no. But in unexpected twist, plant allergic to papaya conditioner. George using hair. George always say. Take care of hair, and hair take care of you. Okay, but you still saved someone more fundamentally awesome than you. Why? Because George Orphan 2. <laughs> George left alone in jungle with no one in world to help. Until Ape found George. My, aren't you cute and hairless? Only difference between George and Tiger is George had ape. What if Tiger was saved by Big Monkey too? Maybe he'd be nicer person. Blah, blah, blah. Get this straight. I don't need saving from nature. Nature needs saving from me. <laughs> Chupacabra, but get a load of a real man's pits. <laughs> Boom, and that's how it's done. Meet this year's master of macho. Come on, Weevil. Tiger, sure he won't do that? Give Chupikubu second chance so monster can change ways and live new life. <laughs>
right here, you beautiful monster. Tiger? Happy now? George, proud of Tiger. I didn't say he'd shut up about your mushy, hippie feelings. I don't even get a trophy now. Tiger still get trophy. Like a golden pat on the back and a first place kiss on the cheek. I am the master of macho. Good for Tiger. Turns out king of the jungle trumps emperor of the yetis. How long George have to stay here? Until next year. At least George have company. Is that papaya in your hair? I think I'm allergic. Mother. Ah, to be king of the jungle. Master of your domain. Respected by all creatures great and small. Or sometimes, not so much. I really need to rinse, George. Elephants, make space in water hole for ape. No hurry, ape. George Elephant Whisperer. More nicely. Okay, that it. Here it come. Please move now. <laughs> See, elephant respect, king of jungle. I'm afraid not. What? Elephants respect lions more than George, king of jungle? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> not respect. Fear. Fear. Uh, what that mean? Fear, yeah. Fear make elephants and George run. It is a powerful motivator. So, if George be like scary lions, then animals do what George say. I suppose, but that's not... Wow, it worked! George! Elephants scared of lions. Lion scared of lava. <laughs> George bet all animals listen to Volcano, George. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Burning rock good. Whoa. Lava scared of Ursula. Lion scared of lava. Elephant scared of lions, so George must be like Ursula. Wait, what Ursula afraid of? Ursula, fear nothing! Oh, you don't, do you? Quiet, Sky Voice! You're not even a little afraid of the Bush Baby of Doom? <laughs> I'll have to remember that. What Bush Baby of Doom? Oh, it's just evil, George. Pure evil. It looks in the heart of the jungle, where it's wreaked terror since the beginning of time. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the Bush Baby of Doom. Everyone fears the Bush Baby. Then George go to Heart of Jungle and learn to be like Bush Baby. Then all animals listen to George. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> What just happened? How did we get here? George, use edit. Now this right place for Doom Baby? Few animals venture into the dark heart of the jungle, for the Bush Baby of Doom is so feared, so dreaded. Okay, okay, we get it. George, uh, do that edit thing again. No, George learned Bush Baby secret first. <laughs> Aw, wait, no fair, it's cute. <laughs> Look, ape, not scary, cuddly. George, be careful. Ow! 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 You don't need the jungle to fear you, George. Everyone loves and respects you already. <laughs> Listen to George. They, they certainly did. 
um, what are those? Oh, ape, <laughs> those fingers. Fingers. <laughs> George, I'm worried about you. You seem different. You crazy ape. Me same old George. Ah! Huh? Uh, ah! I've seen this sort of thing before. Either your father was a jungle yeti. Ow! <laughs> or someone's been bitten by the bush baby of doom. He was definitely bitten, and clawed, and chewed, and then bitten again. But how did this happen? Well, everyone knows that anything bitten always turns into whatever bit it. Huh. Maybe George should have finished lunch then. George is turning into a bush baby. Oh, do. Is there a cure? Nope. George will go full bush baby by Thursday. Unless. Unless what? Unless it happens on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> But what if something else bite George first? Hmm. George, ready? Do it, Rocky. Give George big chomp. George, rocks can't bite. And why would you want to be a rock anyway? Hey, what if got against rocks? Look, why didn't we get a human to bite you? How did you do that? <sighs> Don't ask. What happened to you? <sighs> it's a long story. Magnolia bite George, please. What? Gross! No, you're covered in hair. Just one nibble. Do it for science. Hey, I'm the scientist here, so I decide what's for science. And biting George is definitely not for science. <laughs> huh? You're not Jungle Yeti. <laughs> George, feel funny. What? <laughs> there! George, George again! Right? Maybe if we mix in some cute and majestic, we can get you back to normal. Ah, you get bunnies to bite George? Not exactly. Be brave. <laughs> it work? Not exactly. Ow. Hey! Ow! Ow! How George look now? Uh, uh. Rescue now! Fix George later! Uh, George, wait! Oh boy. Jersey uh. horse should be careful playing around edge of. Ah. Oh, there, there. It okay. Ah. George, return baby bird nest to tree. Ah, 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 stop! George, help! Wait! What birdie doing? George, break! George, you look incredible! Magnolia not think George monster? No, you're definitely a monster. But maybe a Nobel Prize winning monster! <laughs> Come out, George. The jungle needs its king. George not king. George monster. Even rocks and trees run from George. But George love you! Oh, thanks a lot, Rock. Now, Darkness, George's only friend. Darkness and Moss. Thanks a lot, Moss. Oh, come on! Oh, George just wanted respect. Now me just want to be normal. I have one last idea, but you might not like it. 
Bring it out! Bring what out? Hey! Go away, Bush Baby of Doom! This monster George Cave! Ah! Are you sure this is gonna work? New idea! Bite him! Bite him, George! You ruin life! Take this, Bush Baby! Stage one complete. You're leaving without George? Am I? George, like, bosom, king of bungo. Jungle, king of the jungle. <laughs> oh, George. Many of you have worried about George. Has he been cured, or is he still a disgusting, deformed combo beast? Well, see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like George. Ow! Oh, close enough for me. Ow! Tree by George! Hey, George always won't have tree hair. 